the slab lifting clamp. It's one of the most important tools in safely hoisting and moving slabs in the stone industry. Of course, the more you know about using this device in the slab handling environment, the safer you and your associates will be. That's why the Marble Institute of America has produced this critical safety training program. In this program, we'll show you how to properly use the lifting clamp and review some of the safety rules that you must follow in order to help prevent serious injury. The stone slabs are durable, they're beautiful, and they're dangerous. Each slab weighs in excess of 1,000 pounds. Handling slabs is so dangerous that each year there are serious injuries and even fatalities reported at stone yards, shops, and on the job site in connection with slabs. You must be trained to handle slabs. After you've reviewed this presentation and the Safe Stone Handling 2 DVD produced by the Marble Institute, talk to your supervisor to get some on-the-job training with an experienced team member. Training, along with safe work practices, prevents incidents. There are a few basic safety rules to follow when handling slabs. The first rule is to inspect the clamp and all lifting equipment daily. Repairs should only be made by qualified personnel. Make sure all connections, bolts, and nuts are tight. If the clamp or lifting cables are worn or damaged, don't use them. It's important to establish a procedure for clamp inspections. Rule number two, two people are always required per slab lift, no exceptions. When using a forklift, a spotter is always required. When using a crane, we recommend there be a crane operator and a spotter. And when delivering a slab to a customer, use an employee of the customer as the spotter. Rule number three, never lift more than one slab at a time, no matter what size the clamp is or how small the slabs are. Even though clamps come in different sizes, they're designed to move only one slab at a time. Make sure that the slab being lifted does not exceed the load limit of the clamp. All clamps, regardless of size and style, have a load capacity. Rule number four, always wear PPE, including a hard hat, gloves, safety shoes, safety glasses, and a high visibility safety vest. Rule number five, when attaching the slab lifting clamp, make sure it is placed in the center of the slab and the slab is placed fully in the clamp's opening. Push the release button on the clamp so that the jaws lock onto the slab when the lifting cable is raised. Take up the slack in the lifting cable slowly, but do not raise the slab into the air. Once the spotter is at least an arm's distance from the slab, it can be raised. Lift the slab slowly, making sure that it's balanced. Wait two to three seconds before you move a raised slab to allow it to settle. When moving a slab, don't lift it more than eight to 10 inches off the ground. This helps prevent it from gathering momentum. Never go underneath a slab or allow anyone else to. When traveling with the slab raised, travel very slowly. When moving slabs outside, even the slightest breeze can make them difficult to handle. Before lowering the slab, Make sure that there aren't any obstructions that the slab or the clamp could rest on. If this happens, the clamp could release the slab. When the slab is fully lowered and the weight is off the clamp, release the clamp. Rule number six, never lift wet slabs. Lifting wet slabs can cause the rubber pads in the clamp to lose their grip. Thoroughly dry the area before attaching the clamp. And speaking of the rubber pads, Check that they're free from dirt, grease, and oil. They may cause the clamp to lose its grip. Rule number seven, store lifting accessories where they're protected from both the weather and any products that may be harmful to them. And finally, rule number eight, under no circumstances should you use defective equipment. Report defective equipment to your supervisor immediately. When in doubt, don't use it. For more specific information on moving slabs, please refer to MIA's video, Safe Stone Slab Handling 2. It's a good idea to review the slings and clamps section and the overall slab handling video from time to time, just to refresh your memory about proper and safe handling techniques. And wherever you're lifting and moving slabs, remember, 
one slab and two people per lift. Stay alert, stay alive. <laughs>